easily maintain stock levels at your restaurant so you never run out. With Sapad, your entire purchase cycle is remarkably easy. Send purchase orders directly to suppliers, generate POs based on reorder levels, receive goods against invoices, and more. In this video, you'll learn how to raise purchase orders, receive complete or partial purchase orders, and duplicate purchase orders. Let's begin with the first part, raising purchase orders. This can be done by visiting inventory and selecting the appropriate location. Next, select Purchase Orders and click on the New Purchase Order button. Now you can add items to your PO. Feel free to add items from different suppliers in your PO. Sapad will intelligently send the right items to the right supplier. Not just that, Sapad automatically splits the PO with multiple suppliers and creates a unique PO for each supplier. Type in the inventory items you wish to add using the search field and hit Enter. You can also search for items by supplier name. If you've configured your reorder levels, Sapad enters all items that are low in stock with a single click. Simply click on the Get Reorder Level Items button to populate all ingredients that are on or below the reorder levels. Learn how to configure reorder levels by clicking the link at the top right corner. Next, enter the quantity to be ordered for each item. If you're a central location, you can easily select the delivery location of each item. Once done, you can send it to your suppliers by clicking Save and Send. Need to come back later to continue where you left off? No sweat! Just hit Save to save your PO for a later time. Otherwise, click Send. Let's return to Purchase Orders. Keep track of this PO and all other pending POs by heading over to the Dashboard, clicking the Inventory tab, and expanding the Stock on Hand report. Filter the report by ingredient and see which items are pending under the Pending PO Quantity column. The next part of the purchase order cycle is to receive your PO once delivered. To do this, visit Inventory and select Purchase Orders. Click on the Send Purchase Orders tab. Against the PO to be received, go ahead and hit the Receive button. Here you can compare the items you've received to the items you ordered. In some cases, the item you receive may have a different quantity or price than what you originally ordered. If so, you can easily type in the correct quantity in Sapat. Next. Type in the invoice number provided by your supplier. If you received all items ordered, go ahead and click the Save and Receive button. If you receive a partial quantity of an item, clicking the Save and Receive button will automatically create a new purchase order for the pending quantity. The ability to update prices when receiving POs is great if you typically order items with fluctuating prices. If you wish to disable this option, simply visit Setup and click on Inventory Setup. Then. Click on Inventory Settings and select Inventory Global Settings. Hover over Allow Goods Receipt Price Change and click the toggle switch against it to off. At your restaurant, you may need to purchase certain ingredients on a daily basis, like fruits, vegetables, or seafood. In Sapat, you can streamline this process by easily creating a PO of your daily items. After receiving your items, simply visit the Receive Purchase Orders tab and open the PO. Then, click the duplicate button. If required, you can change the quantity of each item before finally clicking Save and Send. And there you have it, managing purchase orders in Sapad in three easy steps. Ensure that the reorder levels are configured for your ingredients. Then, type in the inventory items you wish to add to your purchase order and hit Save and Send. Finally, visit the Send Purchase Orders tab and click Receive. Want to learn more? Click on the link below to book a demo.